Hello everybody and welcome to TechLayer. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure PHP My Admin uh, on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Uh, PHP My Admin is a very good administration tool for your MySQL databases. Uh, for this installation, and there is a prerequisite that you should uh, have your Apache web server up and running and your MySQL database also up and running. If you have configured it already, you can follow the video from here. Uh, if you have, if you, if you want to see how you you'll have to configure your Apache and MySQL server, you can refer to my another video where I have explained in detail to install, configure Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So you'll require all all the three. I'll place the the video link in the description of the video. So let's proceed. The first thing is we'll download the PHP my admin tool. So in Google you can just search for PHP my admin and on the PHP my admin website you can have you can download the PHP my admin. Just click on the download. And I have already downloaded it, so I'll go to my terminal. I'll log in as root. Now I'll go to the downloads directory. Here you, I have the downloaded file. So I'll unzip this file. Now I'll just rename the folder. Just PHP. Now I'll copy the entire folder. to my apache root directory so my apache root directory is where www and html it can be a different directory based on your installation for my installation where www and html is my apache root directory so i'll copy this here now there are some checks which i'll do first i'll check if my apache is running Running. I'll check if my MySQL is running. The both are running. Now what you need to do is you need to disable the SE Linux first. So you need you can go in slash etc SE Linux and conf. So you can open this in the VI editor and you can set the SE Linux as disabled. I've already done it. So once you have disabled, you need to restart your system to make the changes to effect. Now, one another thing is, you need to go to your MySQL configuration file, which is present in etc with the name of my.com. And you need to make sure you have the bind address selected as 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. This will allow your MySQL databases to connect remotely. I need to make sure that your MySQL user will log into my MySQL database. I'll go to the MySQL database and first I'll use my MySQL schema. I'll do a select star from user. Here, for the root user, if you have a uh, remote login enabled, you'll see the host as person percentage symbol. So if the host is present only as local host, you can only log in to your MySQL from the local host, from your local machine. So if you have local host, you can change this to the percentile symbol. So everything is done now. So what we will do is uh, we'll go to our 
uh, Apache configuration file and we will add some configurations. So I'll go to the Apache configuration directory, which is placed under etc httpd conf, and the file name is httpd.conf. So in the end of the file, I'll insert some parameters. So the first one is alias, which will tell that if I'm typing my uh, localhost and p slash php my admin it should point to where ww html php my admin this is the directory which you have just copied and for this directory i am uh, granting the permissions I'm just save this apache configuration file and restart apache by typing service httpd restart once it is done i'll go to my browser and type in localhost slash php my admin slash setup so first you need to create the configuration file you can do this manually or else you can use the setup utility so the simplest way is to use the setup utility just click on new server type in any name which you want to give your server host name which is my local host server port 3306 or you can leave it as default just click on apply so this will generate a configuration file if you click on display you have config inc.php file generated now you need to go to the your document root the Apache document root www.html php my admin. and in this directory you need to create this file known as config.inc.php and just copy all the contents from here inside this file I'll save and quit and then I'll again restart my Apache Now I'll go to my PHP my admin screen by tapping in local host and PHP my admin. So here you need to log in with your username and password of your MySQL database. So now you're logged in into your PHP my admin page. I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you have any queries related to the video, please feel free to comment on the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on Windows, Linux, Oracle and much more stuff related to technology. Once again, thanks for